Um, actually, it's, it's something I've done since I first got, got into laser safety. I was recruited by what I would call my sensei, and um, ILSC was uh, uh, a real functional part because you get a chance to not just book study because there's so much more laser safety than that is you get to intermingle with other people they will tell you about their experiences and you can relate in the same sorts of environments so the information you get here is invaluable in, in my opinion well the ILSC is very important in terms of professional development and growth it's good for networking and also it helps build a community of laser safety experts that can help address and work together to meet the challenges of the growing laser technology applications in the United States today and make sure that we can apply those new technologies in a way that's safe and uh, responsible. Well, I am a, a laser safety officer and this particular uh, conference is the best place to get an update on what's going on not only in the United States but worldwide in terms of laser safety. Uh, you get a chance to interact with just about everybody who's anyone in the community. You get all the latest information. Uh, this year has been really hard because the, uh, the choices of uh, uh, sessions to attend uh, have things that I, I want to be at both of them and I can't figure out a way to split myself between two rooms. Uh, other than that, it's been an excellent conference. Well, I attended two years ago, and I was really fascinated with the whole conference. And this is a different venue. I'm actively involved with ARN and American Society of Laser Surgery and Medicine and Dermatology and Nurses Association. But this is very safety oriented. And so, not only to having the pleasure of a lecturer um, and I uh, as a consultant, but also it's, it was a valuable experience for me to hear a variety of different speakers, very well versed nationally. Well, I've been to the ILSC for the last three meetings, uh, and in my opinion, it, it's the best laser safety conference, the only laser safety conference, conference of international acclaim. So I don't miss it, perfect. I chose to attend the ILSC because it's the premier conference in the in, in, in the field and so it gives me an opportunity to see what the rest of the world's doing um, as someone who tends to associate more with the technical experts uh, it's good to see other users in other countries being from Australia and all. I'll have to talk about this morning and Gus Anavaro from the LIA he had a presentation on a medical laser safety officer side about doing audits and stuff like that and um, it was very uh, down to earth without being too heady and and something that that especially a new laser safety officer or, or a part-time laser safety officer can implement into their program without having to you know to, to think they've got to go sky high because actually is you know laser safety there's it's real practical and um, you know, it's, if you can do it that way, then, then it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Anyway. Um, well, actually, I enjoyed the awards presentations because I got a chance to hear about some of the, uh, some of the greats uh, that have been in this business for 50 years or so who have contributed so much to the, the community. Um, and uh, probably also uh, Carl Schulmeister. He's... Uh, IEC, of course, and uh, he's, uh, he's quite good at what he does. Well, they were actually all very helpful, especially mine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, they were all very good. All, you know, there was uh, probably eight different um, lectures, and um, all of us had a different um, slant to what we did, a different emphasis, and, and that's what's the really exciting part of this, is that you get this diversity. And so no matter what clinical setting you're in, you know, you can pick up these, these pearls and take them home. And I think that's what really makes this a very vital conference. I like the, most of the, most of the uh, general safety ones where you see different applications. Uh, I come from a research background and so get a limited exposure to some of the really high power applications. So I find it useful to see 
some of the other approaches and to find out a little bit more about the ANSI standards because we have some exposure to them but we don't necessarily use them in Australia where we subscribe to the IEC standard. Essential. Challenging. Yes, fun. Compliance. Absolutely essential.